Hi, welcome. So, this is my first time making a cow neck slip dress. I think it's just me and maybe two other women that don't have this cow neck dress in the wardrobe. So, I decided to experiment using a cheap fabric. This is a cheap fabric, a very cheap fabric. So, I wore this out once because it's like a lining material so i am going to start with the pattern i'm using my basic feathers pattern i'm tracing my basic feathers pattern so this will be like an illustration so the first thing i did was to get the midpoint of my armhole depth from the hip point i drew a straight line down and also i created a flare but that i did when cutting my fabric i didn't put that on my pattern you see that later so here i decided to show you how i just made the flare so there's no measurement to this it's just a normal flare to give freedom to the leg you can also slash and spread the bottom part just to give you more freedom so next i cut out the pattern I'm not done with the front yet. I just cut out the pattern to create to trace the back pattern before proceeding. So you can add your um allowance, your sewing allowance, which I did on my main pattern, which you see later. I added my sewing allowance on my main pattern. So next is to trace out the front pattern to create the back. I marked out the armhole depth and cancelled the top part because I only need from the armhole depth point for the back. So I just cut that part out. So the, the top part, you measure it for the strap. So you measure the top part to get your strap, your back strap. So for the front, I went ahead to cut from the midpoint down then trace the measure to get my strap for the front so the next step for the front is to mark from the armhole depth of one inch i drew a line all the way to the center front and cut that one inch point open this is like the slash line so next i cut a fresh pattern and place my front pattern on it just close just like this this is how i placed it the center front on the edge of the pattern then spread open so i did spread open by 4 3 over 8 and 4 sorry 4 3 over 4 so you can go higher if you want the if you want the neck to the cow neck to fall down a bit or you can just stick to it so next thing i folded the pattern on the slash open line at the top i drew a line so i know where to the points to um bend like fold the pattern so i just folded the pattern just like this and trace then from the armhole depth i went down two and a half inches so this is where i will stop cutting while cutting out the pattern so just watch what i did here from the armhole i cut down to the two and a half inches point and spread open the pattern so next i drew a slant line to the center front from the two and a half inches point i drew a, a slash line to the center front just on that previously drawn line so that is all so after this i just cut out the remaining pattern so this is like a facing to the front part of um the pattern so here we go the two um the front and back pattern so this is my actual pattern i used a newspaper so i just placed it on my sample fabric and cut so I didn't need allowance on the bodice because I already added allowance. I just leave um, joining allowance at the top. So you can see the way I created, I cut out the flare. So this is my back pattern. So the first thing is to create a strap. 
I've done straps on most of my videos so you can watch that I just created straps I used um, a hairpin to turn it over so Next, I locked the edge of the front facing. So here we go, it's time to attach the strap. So what I did was to face the lining, the right side facing the right side, just like you're turning it over. Then place, first I pinned just to make it stable. I pinned all the way down at the side seam just to keep it stable. So I just um, placed my strap. Just see the way I did that. Yeah, from underneath the facing, I just put it out a bit and pin. Because this is how the strap is going to be. So I just pin it out, then pin the armhole because I'll just be sewing the armhole only I won't be sewing the side seam yet so watch Next, I trimmed, then cut it a bit so it to create that armhole curve. Then turn it over and do. I did a top stitch. So once this is done, the next step is to attach the strap to the back. And piece so I just got the center back first then measure from the center back down four inches then use a pin to identify that point then place my strap so watch and see what I did Next, I attach the back facing. I already locked the back facing. For the back facing, I just used the back piece to create the facing, like three inches in length. Then the width is just same as the back width. So I just pinned in two. After sewing the back facing, I did a top stitch. So watch. Next, I sewed the side seams. So after sewing the side seam, I tried it on to see if I needed to make any other adjustment before locking the side seams. As you can see, the back fits well, but the front, yeah, there was a little bit of loose on the waist side, which 
was because I left the one inch dot while tracing my um, fitted dress block pattern. So I just um, reduced it by half an inch, not too much, because I needed that freedom also on the waist. So after that, after adjusting the waist, I locked. So it's time for the bottom to, I locked the bottom before hemming. The bottom of the dress before I hemmed. This is all fell. This is the final step. Hemming the bottom. So thank you so much for watching. Please, please don't leave without subscribing. Subscribe to grow my channel. So stay tuned for more tutorial. I'll be making this because this is just like an experiment so i'll be making this with one of my expensive pink fabric i think i'm gonna do it around that so stay tuned bye